welcome back to another video so um just a quick shout out to the reloading community the guy that helped me out the most out of all my reloading is a uh, awesome guy he's he's in oklahoma now his name was joe i can never pronounce his last name but his name is josh but he just goes by joe um dude, just a quick shout out to you man you made my reloading so much more easier i appreciate everything you do dude like I hope we remain friends forever. There's Jeff and Tim from Kentucky, I believe. They sent me these things, the ramrods, and I'm finding them super useful to reloading primers, especially with shotguns. These guys helped me out. They basically donated things to me to make my reloading easier. In this video, I will show you guys how to reload shotgun primers. As I am, I was reloading these, these are my burst shots. I was reloading, I was like, you know what? I'm pretty sure a lot of people have found doing reloads because I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube where people are using like where they're using um, toy caps. Well, unfortunately, toy caps doesn't work. Um, it doesn't burn fast enough, and like you don't get a good charge when you shoot, and it'll it'll kick the bullet out, but it'll just kind of like glide out. It doesn't fly out. I've tested it out. I shot like four shots, and instead of a loud bang is more of a punk and then everything just whew, spits out instead of like you know goes out anyway uh, this is the way that i found where to best work um has the less amount of fail fail shots i guess you could say so anyways guys uh, with that being said i will get to this <clears throat> and uh as you guys already know, none of these videos are monetized because of uh, it's a reloading. It's, it, it has to do with guns. So this video is totally going to be demonetized and I'm okay with that. Um, if you guys want to support me, I'll leave a little link or load whatever the information on in the description. All right. So with that being said, I am going to do a quick load of a shotgun from start to finish for you guys. Starting with the primer all the way down to the loaded shell. All right. All right. So first you start off with... This thing right here, all right, um, primer. All right, guys, this is just a quick disclaimer. This is working with explosives, so do this at your own risk. So I got this thing. This is from a clamp, the bottom piece of a clamp, um, one of those C clamps. I just took it off, and I use it kind of like the whole the guide for everything I use, basically. Still got this little thing. Knocks out everything. Now you you don't need you don't need this. You can use any large primer, but you do need the anvil. Um, and there's a little thing you have to do with the anvil for it to work. Because if you try to load it yourself, the powder is just gonna keep falling out when you try to take a shot, which has happened to me a lot. So what you got to do is get yourself a little wire cutter or whatever, and then uh, you put it. You basically cut it this way, if I can show you guys. Um, you put it the long, you, know, the, you put it like that. If you cut it like this, you might end up cutting it too short. So what you do is you put it all the way down and you cut it from right there. Uh, come on, zoom in or focus, whatever. So yeah, you wanna put it like that so that you cut it, which makes room for the primer. And then you end up with a cut piece of anvil is what it is. And then you could put that back into the uh, primer casing. Goes back in like that. And then here's the, uh, the primer or I forgot what this thing is called already. And I like doing things this way. Um, I tend to just make my own stuff. Sometimes it's easier to just buy the right items. I like making things even if it's not as easy to make it right? when it's easier to buy it. I just find more joy in making my stuff. So it's simply one of these. I don't know what this is. It's, it's one of these attachments on my screwdriver. And it's kind of rounded out. Primer goes in or the primer casing goes in. Let me see. And then just using a hammer, I just um, hammer it back out.
And yep, there's a, oh, there it goes, uh, hammered out primer casing. And let me move you guys back to over here now. All right, so this is Primal. This is Primal. Um, again, guys, this is explosive. Do this at your own risk. Basically, this, if you do this, you're taking a risk at doing it. It's explosive. Uh, be careful with it. Uh, I do not hold any right or claims to these. I'm just showing you guys what I do. So please, if you guys do decide to do this, be very careful. Don't hurt yourself. Anyways, the reason why I did that is because this now, the primer casing fits in there perfectly. It goes in. Piece of cardboard from a Pepsi box. Pour in your uh, Primal. And um, by the way, guys, Primal is actually cheaper than it is to buy caps. It's funny how that works. Because I'll spend $20 on caps and I won't get 2,000 loads. But I can spend $20 on Primal and I'll get more than 2,000 loads. <laughs> Anyways. Back to this, it's just gonna be tissue paper. Again, of course, just plain old tissue paper. Rip a little piece off. Get it over it. Now this right here, it just becomes like a regular rifle, a rifle primer load. I forgot one thing. Um, using the same rod, I uh, pack in the powder. You do have to pack in the powder or otherwise it, it won't work. Yeah, pack in the powder and then you stick that anvil in. So it requires two anvil to load shotgun. And that is a completed rifle primer. And basically you're gonna use this to go back in here. So you put this off to the side now, get that in there. And then to, to uh, save time, I used to finish it off in here. Basically, I have a little ramrod, put it on top like this, get the hammer, and then you just nudge it in, and then you'll have a computer primer. But I recently started figuring out that I could skip this step, take it out, leave it like this so you could seat it all together. And here I have, let me see if I can get to it. Okay, as you can see, this is just my, my reloading device. This fits perfectly into the 412 gauge. It fits and it sits perfectly. I wonder if that'll, there you go, focus. And you can just get your primer, get it in there, and you can just see it all together. You see how it's not seated yet? And the reason why I decided to do this is because when you're doing this, there's a chance that the primer will go off. Um, it's just noisy, nothing else will happen. And then you get your ramrod. Yeah, you get your ramrod and you just do the whole thing in one process. Uh, let me see if I can zoom it out so you guys can see what I'm doing. Yep, and then it, it seats all together. And that is a completed, you have a uh, seated, a primed shotgun shell. And again, I will load it for you guys so you can see it. And I've already figured out how many scoops I need to get the amount of load that I get. So I load this with six of this gunpowder. Uh, I lost count. <laughs> six. I gotta go grab a uh, wad. All right, so with that, it's gonna be, this comes out to uh, 22 ounce, no, 22 grains of gunpowder. I know guys, it looks super messy, my, my table, but trust me, to me, that's organized. When I organize it, I cannot find anything. I keep it like this and I actually, to me it's organized, so yeah. I don't use a press or anything, that's the wad is in. Um, and yeah, and then from here, I have some five shot BBs. Yeah, these are steel shots by the way. And I have a little cap too close it off oh you know what i forgot to do so here's one thing that i found to be easier because i'm using one of these things um it's a little roll crimper so before you load your bb in you want to put this in there and just do a half roll to get you started 
basically to crimp up your casing. Yeah, and then you pour your BBs in, of course. Put the little, whatchamacallit, I don't know what these are called, but I just cut them out of cardboard. Yeah, and then you just roll it, and that is a shell stuck to finish. There you have it. Completed five shot tracking shell ready for use. And uh, I will be taking these out later to go shoot doves. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope that helps you guys out. I hope this um, helps out the reloading community as they have helped me. Uh, I love these all the time. I use these to hunt doves. I, hunt, I use them to hunt. Um, I've actually shot uh, a couple of ducks with these, by the way. And um, using the shoot quails, I use them occasionally on squirrel, but I do have a four ounce load or a four shot load and a two shot load. I haven't tried out the two shot load yet, but the four shot load definitely works. I took it out. I wish I have it. I didn't delete. I think I might still have it. But then I had gotten a new tech cam and I shot a squirrel and I got him. But then you can't even see what I'm shooting at on the camera. So I didn't, I never even used it, but if I didn't delete the clip, I'll show you guys. So this method works. Uh, it's the only method I found to work. Um, for example, I was using long shot for a while. And if you try to use caps, uh, the caps don't burn fast enough or hot enough for long shot to completely burn. But if you use primal and you load it correctly, it'll burn the long shot enough to where it'll actually work. Cause I, I don't use long shot no more. Um, I'm gonna let you guys decide on your powder. This isn't my powder anymore, by the way. This is just an easy CSC thing. I have my BBs in here, my still BBs. Um, be safe out there guys, have some fun, reload, shoot some birds, uh, or some plays.